I read how in your initial draft, Ada was bigger as a character, but when but you went through a process of paring her down and taking out a lot of uh, of those scenes. Can you talk about that decision and that process? I can't remember when we really realized that, you know, uh, we had too many scenes with her and uh, is, you know, the main characters in, in our film is Maria and uh, Ingvar and, uh, and uh, the, the things that they are dealing with. So, Ata, you know, she she's uh, she's not uh, you know the main character, even though she is you know somehow uh, you know big part of the story. And uh, you know we had so many scenes that some of them were maybe similar. And uh, what it did for me was uh, somehow it made Ata much stronger. You know that uh, when you don't see so much of her, and uh, I you I think you see enough, and. Uh, and uh, we, she was also, she had a dialogue also. So, uh, you know, I, I'm also glad that we decided that, you know, we should have, it, have her like, you know, the other animals in the film that you just, some as an audience, you read it, read out the feelings when you look them, you know, uh, because, uh, yeah, you know, all the audience, they give all the animals feelings and uh, human feelings and, uh, and the actors, they don't have so much dialogue. So we thought it was right to, you know, have it uh, the same way. And you, you studied at Bellatar's film school, uh, film school, film factory. How did that shape you as a filmmaker? It, it shaped me a lot, you know, I, I uh, because I, I've been, uh, you know, working as a part of a crew for like 20 years here in Iceland in almost all departments. And uh, like, it was very important to, you know, go again to school and uh, meeting all these great filmmakers. You know, we had Carlos Icatas, uh, Peter Pong, Tilda Swinton. Somehow it just uh, opened my eyes, you know, for like a, new way, a uh, new way of working, you know, because seeing, you know, they, they were all doing like a different things and uh, they had a different method, you know, of how, how they came up with things. And uh, I, I thought that was so uh, great to see that, you know, that there is, you, you have to come, you have to find your own way. And, uh, you know, that was uh, very important. And also in the credits of the movie, one of the people you thank is Carlos Regadas. Has he seen the movie or just read the script or? Uh, he, he has seen the film, yeah. Uh, what did he say? Ah, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, it's, it's maybe not, you know, his kind of film, that you know it's like he's not a big fan of fairy tales or you know like <laughs> like uh, supernatural uh, yeah no but you know it, it, it he also helped a lot you know and uh, you know so uh, it was very important to thank him and you know because seeing his films i i you know he's one of my most favorite you know filmmaker When a U.S. distributor such as A24 enters in the game and distributes your film in U.S., everybody, everybody went nuts when the trailer came out. But I'm curious, how did you react to that trailer, uh, the use of the Peach Boy songs, and, and, and how involved you are in that process, or just let it go? Uh, you know, I, you know I, I have to admit that, you know, uh, and you should not give so much away. Uh, I thought you should never see the lamp, or, you know, but uh, I'm not good in marketing and uh, you know i i see that now that you know a24 they are you know amazing uh, <laughs> they, you know they, what they did for the film and how many people saw it in in us you know it's uh, it's crazy so then they know how to you know do these things and uh, you know I, I just trust them and but and i really like the trailer even though 
I, even though I thought that it was too much, you know, but, uh, but you know, I, I, I totally trust them and, uh, you know, they did an amazing job. And also, were you worried that people from marketing, not only uh, in, in US, but in other markets, sell the movie as a horror film? Because it's not a horror film, it's more like a drama, a family drama. Yeah, uh, I I have to, you know, there I, I, I'm, I'm very uh, surprised, you know, but uh, for me, it's a, it's, it's a family drama or, you know, it's it's a maybe folk tale or, you know, it's it's not a horror film. And uh, it, I think it's a very far away from being a horror film. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, and I, I think it's a, I think it's difficult for, you know, people and uh, if they if they go to cinema and they think they are going to see a horror film, then uh, I think they will get a little bit disappointed. I think my time's up, Valdemar. So thank you so much for this time for the interview. Thank you so much. It's so nice talking to you. And uh, hopefully I will meet you in Mexico one time. Oh, yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome here. Uh, thank you so much. And have a nice evening. Bye-bye.